Maybe that U.S. consumer uh, done shopping in Lululemon, too. <laughs> just teeing it up for you guys. I'm just teeing it up. Just teeing it up. Okay, thanks for the transition, Saz. <laughs> Moving on. Lululemon shares are taking a big hit. They're down about 10% after the company revised its fourth quarter forecast, saying it expects its holiday quarter gross margins to drop as it deals with inflation and a decline in consumer spending. And it's interesting here because the company did raise its revenue forecast, raise its earnings per share, per share forecast, but it is indeed saying that its gross margin is going to decline. Specifically, it's looking for a drop for the fourth quarter of 90 to 110 basis points. It had previously been looking for a gain of 10 to 20 basis points, and this has to do uh, with what's going on with its costs here. Um, same tax rate, so nothing changing there. Um, and so, you know, it, it's interesting that we're seeing the earnings forecast hold up while the gross margin forecast is not. We made too much. You're moving through inventory yeah. and then have to mark down so much of that. Sure, that may ultimately provide some inventory alleviation and allow you to actually have more goods that you're able to work through and sell. So that churns down the inventory. But at the same time, with all the consumers that you're welcoming in and having them purchase on perhaps a lower price, that's going to compress some of those margins in the near term. For sure. Yeah, looking at uh, Lululemon Bear, Randall Connick just out with a note uh, over at Jeffries talking about uh, concern about maybe Lululemon's margins have peaked, and I can't really argue with him. After seeing, uh, I would say, what a surprising quarter out of Lululemon, strong traffic for the brand, but maybe they started to discount a little bit more, swept into that discounting, uh, sweeping the industry, impacting a lot of companies. And we're going to talk about Macy's here in a second, but this has been a very big morning for retail pre-announcements ahead of the key ICR conference. You have Abercrombie, American Eagle, out with better than expected results, five below. Better than expected results, uh, by and large, okay there. But again, Lululemon, not so hot. Not so hot. No, and I maybe I jinxed it, you guys. I told you guys I was at Short Hills Mall yesterday. I texted, <laughs> I texted these guys, and I said, take a guess at what has the longest, busiest line in the mall that I saw, no. and it was Lululemon. But maybe... I said Sears and Kmart. I said Hot Topic. I said Hot Topic. Yeah, yeah. We were no. just playing with Julie. <laughs> yeah. to play around yes, with Julie. I know. They were, they were messing with me.